Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I've got the ATEM Television Studio HD from Blackmagic Design. Uh, it's a pretty good little compact switcher that Blackmagic announced a couple of weeks ago in a live stream, and we decided we had to get our hands on it to check it out ourselves and see if it was something we might want to put into our regular kits. So uh, right off the bat, it appears to be a pretty compact switcher that's perfect to fit in any rack uh, situation or just to slide underneath a monitor or something like that because you can switch right from the panel right on front right on the front of the machine uh, we're going to open it up and see what it has to offer but it basically has four hdmi inputs and four sdi inputs for your production so let's get into it by the name, the Television Studio HD, it does not support Ultra HD like uh, some of the larger ATEM products, but it will give you uh, what you need in anything up to 3G SDI, uh, which will allow uh, 1080p 60. So, let's open this up. Okay. First off, my favorite, the uh, Blackmagic welcome document and the software and manual. You don't need that. Uh, you can go to blackmagicdesign.com support and type in the name of your device uh, at the bottom right and you'll get all the firmware and documentation that you need. This is it, the uh, Television Studio HD from uh, Blackmagic Design has these buttons on f on the front. These are very solid buttons. Anyone who's dealt with uh, ATEM uh, control surface um, or any like sort of switcher panel, like uh, X keys type panel, these feel very X keys like with very solid feedback that you know when you hit it or if you didn't. One through eight here, and that corresponds to the four HDMI inputs and the four SDI inputs. The SDI have outputs as well that aren't loop through. They are what Blackmagic calls talkback program SDI. Now, what this does is it allows you to use ATEM color control uh, camera and camera control as well as the talkback features and sending program back to your camera operators on the Ursa or the studio cameras, um, anything that supports that. And they've really tried to make this whole uh, ecosystem of products for live production that they are really trying to get off the ground. Um, the color control is one of my favorite things in ATEM. It has DaVinci Resolve type color wheels that allow you to have really full control over the lows, mids, and highs, the lift gamma gain um, of your image per input. And the way that it does that on the Blackmagic cameras is it takes that in on an SDI input, which also allows for uh, the talkback features in the Ursa cameras, uh, as well as uh, control over record, stop, start, record, um, and a couple other things. It has an aux out, that you can use to switch a screen feed or a separate uh, clean feed, something like that. It has a multi-view out uh, that is both HDMI or SDI, and it has uh, dual XLR inputs for analog audio in, and it also includes a reference signal that will allow you to keep everything in time. Looks like it has an RS-422 remote, Ethernet control, as well as a USB 2.0 type A, which I believe is probably for control as well. I'm not sure if you can bring in a USB input, but I will look into that. It has fade to black, downstream keyer, as well as some other features right here on the front. Here's to view your aux instead of viewing your program. Menu set buttons are very familiar to anyone who's used Blackmagic products like the Hyperdex, um, as well as the jog wheel. Then that's how you get through all of the menu options on the Television Studio HD. Uh, it has a quarter inch uh, mic input as well on the front and a quarter inch headphone uh, input as well. I've worked in live for quite a long time and I really have no clue what AFV means, so you'll have to bear with me here. But AFV, audio follows video. 
So that makes sense. You know, I've just never heard of it referred to as AFV before, but maybe that's my ignorance. Um, and the on buttons that you see here on the top are actually audio controls. So if you were bringing in audio on all your channels, then you can leave all of those on, as well as if there were certain sources that didn't have audio or that you wanted to go to that audio source instead of the main program audio source, like if it were a laptop playing back uh, video or some type of playback pro or other machine that plays back video with audio, then you'd want to set audio follows video for those tracks, for those inputs. Um, whereas all the other ones that didn't contain audio or that contain like scratch tracks for records or something like that, then you would just turn off those audio inputs um, on the front. So that's really, really helpful. Uh, it doesn't make it so you have to go digging through the menus if something pops up during your uh, show or you need audio on that track um, you can always toggle that on and off as you go um, these little leds on the front here i'm not really sure what they do i'm looking at the back of the box which you would think would tell me but it doesn't it just has these show up uh, green yellow red um, I'm imagining that it has something to do with the combination of audio follows video on audio source and whether or not that program source is hot or not. Um, these keys will light up in green and red, give you a preview program uh, situation. And my guess is, is that you will select the input and then hit cut to cut to it. Um, or auto for a pre-programmed auto transition or a dissolve or something of that nature. One of the nice things about ATEM is that you can store media sources as well as transition elements inside of the, through the ATEM software. Um, you know, I think that if you set up your show once with the ATEM software on a laptop or a computer, that you then could use this device to actually cut your show. However, I would not recommend you trying to do everything from this device right on the front panel uh, before your show because it's just not going to give you the full functionality that you might expect from um, an ATEM uh, product. So uh, that's pretty much it for the ATEM Television Studio HD. Once again, I'm Rob Baynard, producer at LiveX, and this has been another unboxing. Thanks for watching.